Okay, um, I am looking through old photos and ended up finding something that I think is kind of cool, so I thought I would just record it and make a short video out of it. So, um, I was looking through, not that, looking through this folder and um, it's from about 15 years ago, 16 years ago in New Orleans and I was taking some pictures along the river here and it looks like I did end up doing an edit of this but it's probably could be made better I don't think I've really done much with this picture either um, the main output of this trip ended up being this riverboat picture um, but there's a couple of pretty average photos in here of this um, container ship. So I jumped into Lightroom and uh, this is what it looked like right out of the gate. And I had to heavily crop it a lot as well. So, um, after applying uh, some edits here and cloning out some some dust spots, uh, we're left with this, which I don't think is um, necessarily a bad image. I can see a dust spot that I missed. Let's get that. Hopefully that's it. I think I got my stuff in. Um, so this image is fine, but it's uh, pretty low res, low resolution and soft, which is partly because I shot it um, at f16 which is not the sharpest aperture for this lens um, partly because at 20 seconds for a ship on the uh, river even if it's not in motion it's probably some motion so it's kind of um, I'm not surprised it's a little soft and um, this was an 8 megapixel image to begin with, so now it's probably, uh, you know, a 3 megapixel image or something like that. So pretty small. Um, but I thought, let's try out um, Topaz. You could do uh, denoise, maybe. It's a little noisy, maybe. You could do sharpen, which is, which is a pretty obvious one. But um, I thought, let's just try Photo AI, which I've been using a lot because it um, does a really good job with faces. Um, so I thought I would see what happens here. And what it automatically chose to do was um, to kind of upscale the image. And I'm really surprised at how good of a job it did, um, initially anyway. Let's, let's see what these settings it has chosen for me are. All right, so I... It's got, it's got 1.6 times enhancement on, um, and I think we'll go with that for now. So there's the before, there's the after. I think it does a really impressive job. Um, Obviously a lot less noisy, but almost everything is resolved pretty sharply and believably, I think. Um, look at what it does to these lines, these power lines. Almost all of them go from being somewhat blurry to sharp lines. That's pretty cool. I think this upscaling software typically works a lot better with hard edges. Um, 
I don't think everything looks great on here, but for the most part, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, and I think that if you were to look at it uh, just as a whole like this and wait for it to uh, finish, it really pops. Let's see what it does if I ask for 4x. It's probably pushing it a little bit. So this is 4x at 50%. So I think what it's doing here is it's starting to kind of invent detail that maybe isn't there. I think it kind of, it kind of goes a little bit too far in trying to create detail, so I probably would just leave it at 2x. So that looks pretty good to me. Um, Bump this up a little bit more, maybe. Name it. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll save this down to 2,500, how about that? Let's see what this ends up looking like. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's a really nice salvage of what was otherwise kind of a forgotten image. I don't think I've done anything with this um, since I was there. So anyway, I will add this to my Flickr probably and then do nothing else with it.